Hey everyone welcome to Aero Raider in 2025, amid growing global tensions and a changing battlefield landscape, Russia's most powerful strategic bomber, the Tupolev Tu-160M, has returned to operational prominence. Known as the White Swan for its sleek white design and elegant lines, the Tu-160 is not just a relic of the Cold War it has been reborn through extensive modernization. This review explores its design, capabilities, combat use, challenges, and future role in Russia's strategic forces. A Cold War Giant Reborn The original Tu-160 was designed during the Soviet Union's final decades to rival American long-range bombers. It was intended to carry nuclear weapons deep into enemy territory at supersonic speeds, outpacing defenses and delivering massive firepower. Its combination of speed, range, and payload made it one of the most formidable bombers ever built. In 2025, the Tu-160 has been revitalized as the Tu-160M, with the M standing for modernized. While the airframe remains largely the same, nearly every internal system has been upgraded for 21st century warfare. This includes new engines, advanced avionics, improved communications, and precision strike capabilities. Size, speed, and range, dominating the skies. The Tu-160 remains the world's largest operational bomber, with a length of over 54 meters and a wingspan of up to 55 meters when its variable wings are extended. Its massive NK-32-02 engines, developed specifically for the modernized version, give it incredible performance. It can fly at over Mach 2, more than 2,200 km per hour, at altitude and has an operational range exceeding 14,000 km without refueling. This allows the Tu-160M to strike targets anywhere on Earth, especially when equipped with long-range cruise missiles. It can fly from deep within Russian territory, launch missiles from thousands of kilometers away, and return safely without entering hostile airspace. Advanced Weapon Systems the heart of the Tu-160MS combat power lies in its internal weapons bays, capable of carrying up to 12 cruise missiles, including the KH-101, conventional, and KH-102, nuclear, variants. These missiles have stealth features, long ranges, over 5,000 kilometers, and precision guidance, allowing the Tu-160M to destroy strategic targets with minimal exposure. Future upgrades may allow the Tu-160M to carry hypersonic missiles, which travel at speeds over Mach 5 and are nearly impossible to intercept. This would dramatically increase the bomber's threat level and strategic values avionics and survivability upgrades. One of the major weaknesses of the older Tu-160 was its outdated electronics and cockpit systems. The modernized version now features a glass cockpit with digital displays, enhanced navigation systems, and electronic countermeasure suites to evade detection and jam enemy radar. The Tu-160MS radar has also been upgraded to the Novella system, allowing better tracking of targets and improved threat detection. However, despite these upgrades, the aircraft lacks stealth technology and remains highly visible to modern radar systems. Combat Deployment in 2025 In a major shift, the Tu-160M has been used in combat in 2025, particularly in the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. In mid-2025, several Tu-160MS were deployed to launch cruise missile strikes against Ukrainian infrastructure. This marked the first time Tu-160s were used for conventional attacks in an ongoing war, rather than being held in reserve for nuclear deterrence. This deployment suggests that Russia is increasingly relying on the Tu-160M to replace losses or limitations in its other bomber fleets, particularly the Tu-95, which has suffered significant damage in recent drone attacks. Vulnerability and Base Attacks Despite its power in the air, the Tu-160M has shown vulnerability on the ground. In 2025, Ukrainian drone strikes damaged or destroyed several Russian aircraft, including Tu-160s, at airbases deep inside Russia. These attacks exposed serious weaknesses in airbase defenses, aircraft sheltering, and command readiness. The loss or damage of even a few Tu-160s is a major blow to Russian air power, as these aircraft are expensive and slow to replace. This highlights a key weakness, while the Tu-160M can dominate the skies, its survival depends heavily on ground infrastructure and protection. Production Limits and Cost Issues Russia has ambitious plans to field up to 50 Tu-160MS, but production remains slow and expensive. Most of the new aircraft are actually refurbished Soviet-era airframes that were never completed during the Cold War. 
Fully new builds are rare and face delays due to resource shortages, sanctions, and technical challenges. Each 2160M costs hundreds of millions of dollars to build and maintain, making it one of Russia's most expensive military projects. Given economic pressures, sustaining large-scale production